Autopsy results provide new details about the tragic death of a Baltimore City fire safety officer. Those results, though, also raise a whole new set of questions. And those questions about that firefighter's death are a big story this Friday. I'm Donna Hamilton. And I'm Stan Stovall. Tonight, the I-team takes a closer look at the troubling questions behind Lieutenant James Bethea's death. Was there a May Day call? And why didn't anyone realize he was in trouble and missing? 11 News I-team lead investigative reporter Jane Miller is live downtown tonight with our big story. Jane? Well, Stan, already tragic. This case is now almost inexplicable. We start tonight with a photo shared online of the fire scene early Wednesday morning. The photo, taken of the scene of the Wednesday morning fire on East North Avenue, appears to show Lieutenant Jim Bethea standing on the left after the fire was under control. No smoke can be seen. But Bethea's body was found in the basement of the house next to the one that had burned, and his cause of death most unexpected. I've been contacted from the medical examiner uh, and received a preliminary cause of death. It is smoke inhalation. When and why Bethea went into the house is unknown, fire officials say. It appears he fell through the floor. The only visible injuries were to his face. It's not known if he tried to get out of the house. There was no mayday call. And while all personnel at the fire scene had a radio, Bethea's was no help. We didn't receive any verbal uh, response from his radio. No verbal no verbal response. There was possibly a, a click or a hit on his radio sometime that night. When was the last time he was seen I, alive and well? I do not know. The investigation involves several agencies. Everyone involved early Wednesday morning is being questioned. The chief was pressed for answers. How could Bethea have been unaccounted for for more than three hours after the scene was cleared? Is there a possibility that the scene was cleared too quickly? I do not know. I, I can't confirm. Or that's the reason why there's ongoing investigations, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the vacant house in question where Bethea's body was found oh, definitely underlines the problem of vacant houses in Baltimore. This house had just half its first floor, according to fire officials, which suggests that Bethea just stepped off the edge unwittingly and fell to the basement. Reporting live tonight from downtown, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News.